We finally made it though. It's cold season. It's cold season. We All made right. it. First things first. I'm Mike Culberson. I'm Keeper. And this, and this is, is named Vending. <laughs> That's good. That's we a good one. It. We're Woo. working on it. Hey, this is called progress. It is progress. So we're out at my place again. Uh, it's finally the cold season. We got Ash Daddy's fire pit going. This is Ash Daddy's fire pit. And he's not in it. Calm down, guys. He's not in no, it. No, he's on my mantle. He's on the mantle. Yeah. I said hi when we walked in. Good man. So. Ugh. Did camp cast last week. I think that went okay. I, I mean, yeah, I think it went okay. I, I definitely know that there was like an abbreviated, like there was an intoxicated moment because abbreviated wasn't the word I was trying to use, but there was an intoxicated moment <laughs> where I was trying to like get my thoughts out, but I was too intoxicated to both, verbalize both correctly. brain cells were. Yeah, no, it was just like, this is not working out how I thought it was. So the dogs are going in and out, but but uh, Pearl Scout is uh, not about the cold life. She's hanging out in the doorway. She's wearing a nice cardigan, though. She is in her Pearl sweater. So She is in her Pearl sweater. Maybe she'll walk by, but that's a maybe. very, very slight maybe. You're probably going to see us continuously fucking with this fire because I got nothing but really wet wood. We might have to bust out the, the old razzle dazzle. The razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle. Commonly referred to as diesel. diesel. <laughs> you might hear a wind chime here and there. It's it's breezy, but it's not like cold breezy. It's a no. It's, it's a comfortable that, breeze. It's that comfortable breeze where it's not stagnant. It's just like, huh, I could deal with this. Yeah, it's like Miss Congeniality. It's like, oh, what's your perfect date? And she talks about like April twenty fifth because it's not too hot, not too cold. That's how I feel right now. Not too hot, not too cold. I've, I've never seen Miss Congeniality. It, it's about Texas. They're in Texas. I mean, I've seen Aaron Brockovich, which I don't know if you've seen that one. I did. Yeah. I didn't like it. No? No. What the fuck kind of sinner are you? The one that buys an EV and bitches about other EVs. But you've seen Urban Cowboy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which chick do you go for? None of them, honestly. Cowboy Way, though. I like Cowboy Way. If you're going to pick one of the two chicks, though, which one do you pick? Do you... Do you pick the first one, Sissy, or do you pick the the other one, the second girl? I don't know. They both have too much issues for me to deal with. But I guess I'd have to go with Sissy. Really? You're a Sissy guy? Yeah. Man, you and my mom are just going to get along so good. Hey, well, you know. I fucking hate Sissy. I don't know. She works. I mean, if I had to choose one. Could be worse. Could be worse. It could be worse. The fire seems like it's holding steady, at least at the core. The core is very embery. We'll see. We will see. So, 2023. Wait, no, before we get into it. Before we get into it, oh, let's dear. do some let's do some pre stuff. Time out. Let's go back to Mike needs to share his bookcase and what he's read. Okay. And he needs his book recommendations, which are actually good cuz I'm still in a couple of his book recommendations. But we're going to go to his book recommendations. Hold on. I I I want to get the author too. The author. They're yeah, no, authors are important, man. I didn't say they weren't. I like that wood chime in the back, though. Ding, ding. So that one, that one that you're, the high-pitched one that you're hearing, uh, my buddy brought me back from uh, Japan. That's one of those, like, Japanese-style wind chimes. Okay. So it only dings every once in a while. Okay. Got it. So I, I've been reading this series, and the first book in the series is um, Live Free or Die. Uh, it's the Troy Rising series by John Ringo. Um, so interesting premise. Okay, so we're going, you know, alien, uh, alien encounter, alien space invasion, right? Okay. So it starts off like aliens show up in our solar system. Like Independence Day? No, hold on. Kind of. Okay. Uh, they show up in our solar system, and they show up, and they just stand up a gate. Like, they push a gate into the solar system like a ring world kind of shit, right? And they're like, here's a here's a gate. And they're like, uh, okay, what do we do with it? They're like, we don't give a shit. You're now connected to the galaxy. Good luck. And then, like, like tramp freighters start showing yep. up, just, like, 
you know, fucking low low tier traders just being like, all right, what humans got? Man, y'all got shit. Damn. And it's like, okay, well, we'll trade you for like some gold in like specialized metals, we guess. Ugh, I'm gonna have to write this one down. This one actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> oh, I I'm loving it. First off, it's got a very like conservative towards libertarian bent on a lot of the politics, which That's, I don't I, care. I always get down. All right, what is what is it called? It is Live Free or Die, Troy Rising series by John Ringo. John Ringo. Yep. And so it's like, okay, cool, everything's good. And then some other aliens bust down the door and they're like, it's not so good. Uh, we're going to bombard three of your cities for shits and giggles. Uh, by the way, we pretty much own you now. We're your protectors. Okay. We want all your precious metals. Of course. For tribute. And it like kind of spins off from there. And it's like about this one dude like sticking it to him and like figuring some shit out and like, you know, moving on from there and like humanity as a whole like entering into the galactic universe, right? See, that's where I like Bobaverse. I don't know if you read that one. I did. I, I read all of Bobaverse. I liked Bobaverse, especially in the sense where, I don't know, you had the politics into it. I mean... I it, mean, that's realistic. I loved I loved the fact that his personalities deviated. Yep. Which is very The more true. copies you have, clones, yeah. it deviated. Because even if you made an exact clone copy of yourself where you are right now, that person is going to deviate based off of additional separate experiences. Well, yeah, and you'll start living his own life. Mm -hmm. So things are going to differ. I, I thought it was really cool where they had the Trekkies come in, and it was you start having these different sects of Bob. Yeah. And then, I don't know, it pretty much is legions across the board. And then there's this other clone out there that was cloning itself, and it they were supposed to be the big bad, but... yeah. The big bad was really himself. Yeah, no, he was his own worst enemy the entire time. Yeah. Like, OG Bob, though, version one, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him. I really don't. So he's not the kind of guy that I sit down and have a beer with? No, he just seems like, all right, well, I did, I did a piece of what I wanted to do. I'm done. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, don't, don't stop. Like, keep going somewhere. But, no, it was, it was weird. I didn't like that. So, eventually, I mean, for me, I think it hit, like, book four, right? And by the time they got to book four... I oh, was, where they're exploring the other planet with the giant maze river. Yeah, Evans I was, was kind of done by the time they I went to done, that. I was done, but I needed to continue. Yeah. Like, I'm almost done with the series. They're not continuing it. Yeah. Heaven's River, it was cool Have a have a different, not even humanoid, pretty much different like prairie dog type thing it was like it, it was cool to see a different civilization but even they excelled to a point that technology was too wrong for them like is is the way it seems like yeah so um so going on to a, a separate topic i brought it up to you earlier so i had a cat burglar today yep. i've had a cat burglar to well it wasn't me yeah, well, it was a literal cat. Oh, okay. Well, so at one point, my dogs freak out and they're like barking and in I, the house. Yeah, in the house. And I look out front and there's nothing out front. No trucks have pulled up or anything. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck? And I open up my garage door and there is a cat in my trash can right next to the door, like digging Did you have for food. food in there or something. Or? Well, like, I'm pretty sure I threw away like a Chick fil A bag or, Fast some food shit, or right? something. Yeah. But I had had something munch through a couple of my cat food bags because they were on the ground in my garage. So yeah. I was like, oh, fuck, I got rats or You got rats, right? you got mice, all crap. No, 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 no. You have a cat. I have a cat. So you so, slowly adopted an outdoor cat on your property. So, actually, you say that because I thought to myself, I was like, I don't want another cat, but I wouldn't mind having, like, a barn cat. Yeah, an outdoor cat. So I put some food out for it. In, in Tell me in, the food's, like, been slowly disappearing. No, I mean, I have no idea. I, I um I checked on it before it got dark, and it hadn't disappeared, but I put it up on my grill. 
So it was up off the ground. Yeah. Because Cabo will go eat it. Yes. Um, the fire's working, by the way. For now. Debbie Downer over here. <laughs> I mean, we barely, we barely got that running. I mean, I have no idea. What do you mean barely got it running? I shoved a whole fucking branch in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you almost set everything on fire. It wasn't that bad. Jump back to the footage of <laughs> help all being on fire. Hold on. I'm going to turn this into a pretzel and stuff it yeah, in there. Yeah, I said I'm going to origami this freaking branch. Mm. But it worked. Which one's that one? This is the Bellhaven. Okay. The, the 12 year. The one that they did in um, rum barrels, I believe. Okay. And it is delicious. It See, is. They've, they've definitely expanded on whiskey across the board going from oh we're just gonna make it it's just gonna be in a a wine barrel now it's aged with this aged in a wine barrel aged in a scotch barrel you could taste the rum i like when it's wood fired and you can taste that like wood that wood taste to it like especially hickory when they throw a hickory in there yeah oh. i just like whiskey and scotch and Bourbon and I like libations. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not such a fan. I like tequila, but I have gotten myself into trouble on tequila. Like I, I've got. I come from that standard problem of I get a little crazy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of. What was it Fireball? Fire, oh no, no, I don't do like, any of the cinnamon. I'll, I'll touch pretty much anything else. And Firefly Moonshine, I won't touch either. I just. I don't do the honey whiskeys. I can do some honey whiskeys. I'm not about that life, bro. But we're turning. I'm spending eighty plus dollars on this bottle for seven hundred fifty milliliters. So I got onto this specific Bellhaven because I was talking to my dad. Ash Daddy? No. Uh, oh, Bald Daddy. Real estate dad. Real estate dad. Um. I do want to buy him turtle wax for Christmas. Turtle wax? Turtle wax for his head, so he can make Fucking it Fucking just get it, bro. Just do <laughs> do it. You're going to see him soon. I know. I might just buy it, wrap it, and unless he's watching this, he won't know. But buy it, wrap it, and just... You can't open it till Christmas. And then when he opens it, oh, it'll be fucking priceless. Which, by the way, props to my buddy Rob, because I did that thing where you procrastinate on something for too long. Mm -hmm. And so I contacted my, um, my normal boarding place for my dogs mm. which is here in in the sticks so it's you know more reasonably the one priced. on 46 that one yeah that one yeah i love that place yeah it's like paws and four paws yeah four paws uh, they have another like, like airbnb type dog style one there too yeah but i i hit them up and they're like it's two weeks out and they're like nah we don't have anything available and i'm like son of a bitch so i was just I was doing that thing where you're just, like, talking to one of your friends about it, and I mentioned it to Rob, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to, you know, I, I fucked up. I'm just going to have to suck it up and go to one of the more expensive ones. And he's like, you watched my dogs while we were in Japan? And he's like, let me talk to the wife, and I'll see if we can watch your dogs. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, fucking let me I know. Mean, it's going to be easier with your dogs. <laughs> Well, it's so, yeah, I mean, honestly, his dogs weren't No, they problem. weren't bad. They were good dogs. They just, they're attention dogs. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with attention dogs. I was, was watching, uh, home settings like a big thing right now across all the states. Everyone's about home setting. Everyone's about home setting. And uh, one of the guys, he was, uh, don't quote me on this, I think he's, he was a ranger or, I know he was army. Him and his wife got married 1920 and... He goes all these homesteading things, but he has a boxer. Boxer and a pit bull. And everybody goes, oh, it's a guard dog. He was like, the dog may, he actually put a video out. He was like, the dog may sound mean, the dog may look mean. But my dog will totally let you in my house and try to kill us in the middle of the night. Like, my dog will just sit on your lap and lick you to death. Like, my dog is not a guard dog. That is, that is not what I have to worry about with this dog. <laughs> it was like. Yeah, you know, there, there's something to be said about that. It's like, dogs can sound and look mean, but then once you sit down and you're like, oh, you're, you're a good person. It's like... <sighs> well, my dog, Pearl, which is the sweetest dog, <laughs> and you know that, mm -hmm. like, everybody loves Pearl. Um, when she plays, 
Like when she's, she's doing tug of war or anything. Yeah. Or when she plays with other dogs or anything like that, she growls like she's about to eat someone. Yeah, she was doing that with uh, Toby for a little bit. Yeah. In the backyard. It was like, just like, she good? It was like, yeah, she's good. She's, that's that's she's, just Pearl. <laughs> but Toby does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you start playing with her, found a new a new toy. She's seen this toy maybe like six months ago. Yeah. But packed it away with everything else, all the extra dog treats. Love bark box, but I don't need that many treats. <laughs> hey, I've got so many bark box treats. It's like I don't know what to do with all of them. <laughs> I open up a box. Like it's maybe it's a 30, 30 gallon is what it it's rated. Have for. you ever eaten one of the, those treats? No, I haven't. I mean, I know that humans can eat them. I those ones, yes. But they're not made for human consumption. They're not made for human consumption. We, we don't live in the UK where, oh yeah, we actually care about, you know, older people possibly eating our canned foods. Did we talk about that on the podcast? We did talk about that. Yeah. That's why I hinted at it. It's like, no, America is not on board with that. I mean, they're just, what is it, UN? No, no. Every, a bunch of people got together, countries, and were like, oh, we want to make food a basic human right. Two countries oppose it, China and America. It's like, I get it, because you don't, ooh, that was a frosty one. There a, There's this tree there frog around, around here, here somewhere. <laughs> Too much rain. I didn't think you lived that close to water. Must be one of those barking spiders. <laughs> one of those barking spiders. Damn. I'm so glad we're outside. Uh, man, I'm not Pearl. My far zone stink. But, oh, dude. Oh, speaking of pearl farts. Oh, dear. So, me and Steven, I think we were coming back from a camping trip one time. Was this the, like, six hours one direction, six hours back? No, 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 no. That was the one where we didn't go camping. Well, yeah, because they're like, oh, fire ban. Yeah, fire ban. Like, I'm not, why I'm didn't not you put this on the fucking site? Permanent fire ban. And I'm like, I'm not. Camping um, in a permanent fire ban, guys. I'm just not. No. I I come. I go out in the cold weather to go camping because I want to sit around a fire and drink a lot of alcohol and eat a lot of meat. And don't get me wrong. So I will bring propane so we can very quick. But after our very quick one, propane's really not on unless it's morning time. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> I I just yeah. I mean I I make I make breakfast tacos. Don't care after that. I don't. I don't know. What was it when we were camping this past weekend? I don't know what your dogs found by my tent. I, they were just dude. They were on eating that spot. Dirt. Fire. Ah. It's out. That was the big stick. I wouldn't too. touch that. Uh, well, I touched that end, but. Um. So anyway, so yeah, we're riding back from camping one time, and Pearl has decided to get up. And she is sitting center dash. On, no, she's crawled onto Stephen. Oh dear! And she lets one rip, and you could hear it. It was audible. Oh, it was <laughs> nothing but air, <laughs> dust, dust came out. And I reach over and I hit the window locks, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, oh, I can, oh, I can taste it, oh." I was like, yeah, let me roll my window down. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I love Steven. I really do. Oh, it was just the funniest fucking thing. But yeah, no. Uh, Pearl, Pearl, Pearl's done it because she'll, like, during winter, I let her crawl under the sheets because yep. she's a natural she just... heater. That means I, I worry less about cracking my windows open and... Putting heavy blankets on and shit. Oh, I crack out my windows all the time. But she'll fart, and I don't realize she has. And I'll, like, shift, and the blanket will lift up, and then it'll, like, waft. I'm going to pick this up. Okay, well, I mean... I'm in danger. Oh, no, it's fine. It's on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Wait. I think I started this aside. You did start this aside. I started the... Where did I start this aside? We were talking about books. Then we jumped over to your dad. Wait. With the dog staying somewhere. Okay, yeah. We start. I started saying something about my dad. You were talking about your dad, and you were going to go over there. You were talking about your dog staying. Rob's going to watch him. 
Yeah, no, man. I think I did so many asides. I've lost the train. And I, of thought. I thought this is just where you're going. <laughs> but no, I mean, right. So yeah, Rob's gonna watch my dogs. Props to him. Um, you know, it, 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 he's like, hey, you did, you did me a solid. I'm gonna do you one back. Yeah, exactly. And that right there That's is good, how you do yeah. relationships. Regardless, what are you of, about? I'm just gonna do you dirty, and you only do stuff for me. Family, friends, you know. It's a little bit different for like wife and husband, but still to a degree there is that. No, it is. I mean, I did laundry today. Yeah. Like I so our laundry will just get over. It'll just get full because we're busy with other shit. Like we went food shopping this morning, and before we left, I threw I threw a load in watching the kids so Jess could sleep in, and and then came back, took it out, folded a huge portion of it. It was like fold the pants because we hang up all our shirts. And put away the socks and underwear. It just, boom, problem solved. There's no yep. actual, fold, threw them all in the bed, fold them all, put them back in there, and then it was just that. It was like, we still have two other baskets we got to throw through the laundry. Mm-hmm. But our our machine pretty much is just a fire and forget. I really want a second one because it's the washer dryer Just combo. put them side by side. Man, that's epic. It was like, I've seen other people do that, and it was like, Next house, I'm doing it. It's about two grand, but oh no, for the fire and forget and the ease of life. And then yeah. the app go, you got 47 minutes left. I got enough time to start something else. Well, I mean, I I am not necessarily like I don't necessarily. We've talked about this, I think, on pod before, but I don't necessarily need the smart water heater. Yeah, I don't need the smart fridge. It's nice to have it though. Eh, well, for me. Because I'll be like, oh, I got to change HVAC alone. It's like, oh, I got to change the filter. I have the notification pop up, and I'll write it on the calendar. But sometimes I just won't look at my actual paper calendar yeah. when I'm walking by it. And so getting the notification, hey, you, a- I actually have to put in a code to get rid of this notification. So you change it. So like, it's nice to have. I don't. We have so many smart, stupid appliances in our house. It's like. I really didn't need the singing jingle for my air fryer and the text notification saying my food's done. Yeah. Like, I heard it, got it. But, you know, if I'm in the garage or something, the text notification would be nice. Yeah. It's like if I'm cooking something that's going to take 45 minutes with the Dreo and I get the notification, oh, your food's done. All right, cool. Now let me clean up. Let me – and then it will keep it warm. It will actually have a – what is it? It's It's a sitting feature. How you let your steak sit. And yeah. So depending on what you're cooking. Same with the, the washing machine. It's like, can you get to it within the next so many minutes? No? Okay. We'll just do a load sense. And it'll just cycle on warm. And see, mine does that. And I was like, that's genius. And honestly, the fact that my washer and dryer are smart washer and dryers, and they'll let me know. Like, I could look them up, or they'll send me a message, or whatever. It, like... I have most of like, the notifications turned off anyway, but it's it's. I, cool I turn aspect. on the ones for the washer and dryer. Like, I turn all the other ones off, but the ones for the washer and dryer, I'm like, oh, man, yeah, dryer's done. Because I hate my dryer stuff just sitting. See, I don't only because when I'm doing laundry, I'm doing other stuff in the house. So I'm already moving all over the place anyway. So I'm within transit checking it all the time. Mm. So for me... Well, mine's in the garage, too. Yeah. Which, by the way, one of the projects we're going to do... Is putting those motherfuckers on pedestals. We're going to build pedestals for those. Bitches. We need blocks under them, yeah. Because I don't know if you realize this, but I'm over six foot and it sucks bending down all the time we, to fucking. So they make the two and a half foot blocks with shelves under it? Let's make them. Problem solved. Well, that's the thing is like, I don't need. I don't need to fit, spend like a couple hundred dollars. Per yeah. With no, its own. no, thank cool. you. No, thank you. It's plastic. And then, you know what? A couple years down the road, plastic breaks. Cat gets in it, dog bite. Not whatever. only that, but I want to put them on casters. Heck yes. Fucking put them on casters with the fucking wheel locks on. The washer, we need a metal tray under it. So that way it can catch any possible excess. Smart man. Smart man. Because I, I never thought about it till we had our two-story house in San Antonio on the west side. My bad. Far, far, far west side. Oh, man. I remember that shit. <laughs> I remember you being so pissed about that guy. It's like I, north, from, south, east, west. It's the west. 
Apparently it's different. But you know what? Whatever. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can't just say oh, that we can. and not give. I'll let you tell the story. I don't. Ba- I barely remember the story. I remember some dude, and it, it happened to you. Why am I telling the story? Oh, because it it was funny. I like hearing it from someone else. Okay, well, I it, let you're going to have to correct me because I barely remember. Oh wait, so you some go dude over it. we worked with. I don't even remember his name. I know I've seen him since. I know he was a Navy vet. Yeah, That's whatever. It. Um, he was like, oh, like, you don't live on the west side. You live on the far, far west side. And it's like, what the fuck is the far, far west side? Because Just be- SeaWorld was far. Inside SeaWorld was west, where, his words, not mine, where most Mexicans live. Like, they're native to San Antonio, and this is where all the family lives. And I was like, okay, then I live far, far west, but it's still west. It Take off any beginning word it's still west so it's west side san antonio but it's not actual called west side so that that's pretty much the story it was just he was getting super freaking upset about dude it. he was oh he was getting heated then you got heated because you're like just leave me alone it's i don't like care. it doesn't matter you know what you just live on the shitty side of san antonio like, I... then we got on the topic about guns, and he was like, oh, I just trust the cops to come and save me. It's like, I trust the cops to do their job, but I still want to be safe in my house knowing it takes ten minutes. No shit. Lady down the road used to be, he was the pastor at one of our churches that we went to. Okay. He was uh, the youth pastor, and then the kids pastor, and no joke, we're, um, uh, I don't remember what medical procedure I was done dealing with, but still hurting. And then we get a call. Oh, that's after the accident? Yeah. Well, shortly after. it, Not shortly after. A little bit after. Still dealing with a couple of the other things. But we're in the new house that we're in now. And we get a call from um, one of the youth. That's his daughter. They're about to go to watch some movie. I don't remember what movie dropped. I think it was the new Minion movie. And Jess and everybody else, youth, just came back from Corpus, where they were having their youth trip, youth extravaganza, and Jess gets a call. She just switched her number. She just sent it to her maybe five, ten minutes before. So you'd be like, hey, we're heading out now, and we live we live maybe a quarter away from, you pass their house every day. But we get a call, and all it is is, I don't know what's wrong with my mom. But she can't move. So then, Jess is like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up there real quick." And I was like, "All right." So I put on a shirt because I wasn't wearing a shirt, and I roll up there, and she's having a seizure. Literally, her hands stuck on the driver's side door, her other hands on her purse, in the driver's seat, and she's having a seizure. And I was just like, "Oh, okay, well." So I go up there and I just, I grab her and I slowly get her to the ground and I turn her on her side so if she throws up, if anything, it can she can at least breathe. And then, I don't know, I guess training just came in and I was like, you, and I point to one of the, one of the youth that was there and I was like, hey, call 911 and put the phone on speaker. So she calls 911 and I was like, hey, this is the address, this is the location, we're in the front yard right now, she's having a seizure. The one, I'm on the phone with you right now. My name is Keeper. And yeah. I go through the whole spew. At this point, I'm still dealing with all my medical issues across the board. So I'm wearing a diaper at the time. and no, I literally shit myself in the front yard while I have this lady on my lap, keeping her coherent enough for EMTs to get here. It takes 10, 12 minutes for them to get here. It's like, that's a reasonable time. It's not that it's a bad time, but a normal firefight takes 30 seconds. Yeah, that's that's realistically a long time. Like, the, So if it was a dire emergency where I'm in a firefight, I don't want to wait 12 minutes for someone to show up. Like, I, I don't. I, I would rather be safe. Yeah. So have a gun. Be safe. Well, I mean, we, we've talked about it before. I've talked about what I was... I was this week. I was talking to someone. They they were talking about how they were getting stationed 
um, in the D.C. area. And they were looking at housing. Uh, they were looking in Maryland. They were looking in Virginia. Yeah, um, within that and, hour commute. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I I told her I would not live in Maryland because of the gun laws. Mm-hmm. Because the gun laws are really strict. And I was like, I don't know if that means anything to you. I would say that this woman is a very liberal woman. It did she said, it fucking does matter to me, the gun laws. <laughs> like, okay. she, she does not, did not hesitate. Yeah, the gun laws matter to me. I mean, that's why I look when, when we travel somewhere. It's like every time we travel somewhere, I look at the gun laws, see what I can can and can't do. It's a lot easier to travel in a car through states than flying with a gun. It's a yeah. lot easier. But I do want to talk about cars. We're talking about Wait, travel now. Before, well, this kind of relates to cars. All right, go for so it. So I need your opinion. Um, so we were talking about the back window covers. Ash stain. Let's go. The, for the ash stain. What is the difference between a speed form and ABS and an aluminum? Here. Speed form's the brand. MMD ABS is another brand. Is it a brand? Is there a material? Aluminum rear. Because ABS is a material. Yes, ABS is a material, but it's also a car light feature that comes on when you have issues. Honestly, it's just kind of come down to looks. Like, you're not taking it to the strip. You're not taking it mock Jesus speeds. The biggest thing you got to look at, are you going to drill holes into daddy's car? If you're not, then you're going to find adhesive stickies that you're going to have to replace every so often because we live in Texas, and the heat will slowly... Make them suck. I mean, I'll probably drill holes in the car. So at that point, you'd, you'd probably want more of an aluminum one. And that's how you would do your louvers, honestly. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to, I'm not, obviously. Just make sure they're channeled well for water. Yeah. And in case water comes in. Not saying it will, because you can also put JB Weld. You can put other stuff, too. You could put silicon. You could put any type of sealant that would be well fine. that's the thing is like if i'm gonna drill a hole i'm gonna seal it so we're not gonna worry about this and honestly if you're gonna do that just watch a bunch of videos and learn how to how to do it yeah get the one you like and get get one that you know you're gonna drill holes into your car yeah so you want it to overlap a little bit onto the metal and mm. not just a glass cover mm-hmm. which the one i had for the challenger was just a glass cover i didn't want to drill holes into it the the 392 I had. So like I didn't want to drill holes into it. I just wanted an adhesive stick on. I know I'd have to change it every so often, but that was a cost I was willing to spend because a roll of it was super cheap. Negligible. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I like the look. That's why. I mean, and if you're not going to replace back windshield with all the heat warp, then it's, it's irrelevant anyway. It's like, oh, well, it's going to block your line of sight. Eh. eh. I can't see I can't anyways. see anyway. Yeah. That's why I put the window louvers on there too. Because it wasn't something I was worried about, but I like the look. Well, I mean that's the thing is I do I do like the look, but I mean it's at the end of the day, it's my Mustang now. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, I know it's the Ash Stang, and I wanna keep the overall look. You you wanna keep it as true as possible, but upgrade it. Properly. Yes. You don't want to bastardize this car. Yes. So, Ford, props to them. I'm going to start with that. Because okay. every other sports car pretty much dies 2023. 2023 death of sports cars. Yep, 2023 death of sports cars. So, we know Dodge pushed out their EV whatever, and it sounds like a 1980s movie car. It so, sounds like a futuristic car, and it just sounds like a, a cat going, Row! like there was a video going all around, and it was like, okay, well, eh. but Dodge is getting rid of their Challenger and their Charger. They're probably going to rename them to something else. It's going to be EV or hybrid or whatever, but Dodge is like, we're out, and Dodge was like one of the last ones like, fuck it. Let's put a Hellfin in a minivan. Yeah. Like, let's do this. Yeah. And 
that's that's where they're going. Nope. 2023, Dodge is like, all right, we're backing out. We're going back to EV. Chevy, I think, is still keeping the Corvette, but the Camaro's dead. Camaro's dead. Camaro's dead. Ford's like, I mean, all you guys are doing this. They haven't stated what they're doing yet, but they did kill the GT. See, that makes me sad. That does make because you got, what was it, McLaren Ford. You have all you have all this history of Ford fighting it. And like, Chevy just went to the fucking, um, what was it, they went to Europe and did the whatever race over there. And the car just looked like it swallowed all the other cars. Yeah. Like, this car was massive. And it did very well. It did very, very well. And you're like, ah, well, the Camaro's dead. I mean, Acura, they brought back the Real- NSX. Realistically, and then- I think I think EV has a place. I do. I, I, I legitimately think EV has a place. But I think that gas and diesel still have their own place. Agreed. And I don't think 2035. I do think we do need a hard set date of when we need to fully start pushing it. But not, oh, you can never buy a gas-powered car. You can never... I don't see us fully being sustainable EV-wise for another 50, 60 years. If that. And, you know, if we really just... We really, really care about the Earth. We really care about EV. We we could probably push it in 10 years. Is that going to happen? No. If we had, like France, because France is entirely run off of nuclear power. Yep. If we had the entire United States running on nuclear power, especially with the new nuclear generator specifications that they do, where they can take old nuclear waste and burn it for nuclear power, then I would absolutely agree. I would be on board with electric, even though it, electric takes away from the the rumble rumble happiness of a, you know, gas engine. Yeah, it does. What's it? I'm trying to look up the electric total cost for Texas. It's not gonna have, but essentially, I'm gonna have to look more into this later, um, or throw up a comment when someone talks more about it, but. Essentially, it was like, what was it? It's like, just for Texas, just what we currently use was like four terawatts. Tera gigawatt. It, like, it's this long slew of, it's this long slew word for how much we use. And this, this went up to, I think it was Congress or, I don't know, some government was in there and a Texas representative was there. It was like, we use a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, it gets hot. This past year, our coolest summer day was, like, 98 degrees. And all this came up, and it was like, we're not going to be like California and be like, oh, yeah, everybody needs to go over to EV now because EV works better. And You know, EV w- may work better, but even Texas was like, okay, well, we're going to start taxing them because they're not, they're not paying taxes on gas. They're not paying taxes here. It's like, which- well, but, I mean, that's the thing is because, you know, Texas already said – Hey, guess what, guys? We don't want to do state inspections anymore. Mm-hmm. Instead, we just want you to pay. Yeah, and we'll trust you to do your own inspection. Yeah. Which, you know what? Fine. At least you tell me you're you're just taking my money anyway. Do me a solid. Grab that mic. Bring that mic closer to you. Better? Closer. Better? Better? My man. Okay. Like I do, I do agree with you. EV has its place; it really does have its place. I don't see us getting there. The it let seriously. Let's look at our back twenty years. You know, let's go back to the eighties. Last oil fucking crisis we had. They pushed out an EV vehicle. It was all battery, and you know it worked while we had an oil crisis, but it was expensive as shit. Like it wasn't working. Okay, well EV cars are expensive now. That was what forty years ago. Yep. Okay. Oil crisis. We don't have it, but fine. Whatever. Oil crisis. I don't know how we had one back then and don't have one now. Oil doesn't just dissipate, but whatever. Hey, hey, hey. it's not about the oil. I know. It's about the oil companies. This is totally conspiracy theory, not based in actual fact or any statistics that I actually have access to or have done any research on. But it's all about 
the oil companies just jacking up the prices. Because whenever a hurricane blows through the Gulf, suddenly, miraculously, gas prices skyrocket. skyrocket. Just for no reason. No, and I, I regress. I mean, but it seriously. You regress? I regress from the You're conversation. You're regressing to a small child? No. Are we doing regression therapy? I probably do need it. Regression hypnotherapy? By the way, that pseudoscience is not real. I don't know. I know they're, the VA is working on shroom science. You know what? But that's legitimate science. No, correct. Right? And, and, I do think and, it does have its place. Same with EVs. I, I want to touch on EVs a little bit more. No, fuck your EVs. No, okay. Keep going. Go, like, go, go. This whole, we need to jump to EVs. I don't see it be as sustainable. I really don't. I don't see us jumping there in the next 10 years, the next 20 years. We don't have a proper grid set up for this. I, ultimately, that's that's my opinion. I don't think we do. If we push it hard and everybody was on board, good luck. You've seen the way our political system is. Nobody's going to jump on one fucking thing. Well, here's the thing. How about we actually have an infrastructure bill that goes to infrastructure. You know what? Texas better not jump on this whole fucking national electric grid. Like, we oh. that's going to piss me off. Mm. No, we don't need it. We don't. We, don't. We, we produce more than any other state, and we're fully sustainable by ourselves. I am totally down if we overproduce and sell to other states. Completely down with that. I think the past couple of years we've sold to a couple of our bordering states. Because, but I don't want to be a bitch and have, like, fucking el- additional electric taxes because, like, some of the states surrounding California who have additional electric yep. taxes, which is, this is also based off of not real research that I've done. This is just hearsay that I've seen on the internet. But, supposedly, they get taxed additionally in surrounding states to supply electricity to California. That doesn't surprise me because my sister-in-law is being taxed the same way. Like, she has solar panels on her roof. She bought a nice million-dollar home, fixed it up, did whatever needed to be fixed up with it. And same thing. She has crazy fucking taxes. She's like, why am I paying this tax? You're not even in my state. Like, why do I, why do I care? Like, ultimately, why do I care about you in a different state? Why yeah. am I paying that tax? Yes. Ugh. All right, what other topic you got? I had something. Actually, I mean, we, we I think we deviated from several of my topics along this ride. Well, we talked about the ash thing. We did talk about the ash thing. And we then were talking we got about something, the EV. We were talking about something to do with my, my real estate dad. And then we deviated from that, and I haven't been able to figure out what we were talking about. Do you about. have it open on the tablet? No. Um... Because I know we were talking about books. I will tell you, we should talk about this fire pit. It's still going. The fire's still going. It's, it, the fire's still going, but let's talk about the fire pit. Don't throw it's, all that wood in there. Yeah, don't throw all the wood in there, man. We don't have any more out here. I'd have to go out front to get more wood. I mean, realistically, we'll, we'll take a walk, and there'll be dead space. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's just this just Good the fire. game, by the way. What's that? Good game, by the good, way. Good, good. Have you played the remaster? I haven't played the remaster. Risk of Rain just dropped a remastered. Yeah, for the first game. Is that what it was? Yeah. I haven't looked more into it. Yeah, no. It looked like I I never played the first game. It looked like it was a roguelite, I guess. Okay. Mm. I, I I like roguelites. I do need to play Dead Space remastered though. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. They they remastered Dead Space. They remastered Metal Gear Solid. Okay. They uh, No, let me correct myself. They didn't remaster Metal Gear Solid. They re-released Metal Gear Solid for PS5. Okay, let me ask you this. Was it like a remaster the way Halo was? No. It okay. was... Nothing was remastered about it. Oh. It's the original graphics, which I love. All right? Which I'm not against. And I played... I, I bought... Because it came with 1, 2, and 3 in Volume 1. I never really got into Metal Gear. I loved watching it. Metal just, Gear Solid. Yep, I loved watching it. My man. Maybe I'm maybe I'm biased and maybe I've got too much nostalgia and everything because back in the day, I I for the longest time I had gotten one of those. You remember on the first PlayStation when you got the like demo discs? Yeah. 
I had a demo disc with Metal Gear Solid on it. And so it got up to a certain point, and yep. then it's like, oh, and that's it. And then finally I actually got the real, real game. Real disc and real And then player. I was like, oh! Power! A game I want them to remake is Lost Vikings. I never played it. It was a puzzle game. You have three people. They're all Vikings, obviously. Aliens abduct them, and that's how it starts. Okay. And pretty much you have a map. It's a side-scroller, and you can go left and right. And essentially where this went was you have a fast guy who's a red guy. You have a fat guy who has a shield, and he can pretty much float down with the shield, pretty much like a parachute. And then you had your jumping guy, and you had to figure out how to get past it. And then in later on, and then in the second game, they added like a dinosaur, or they added like a fourth-party character that would every once in a while switch with one of the people. We had to solve this puzzle. Like, I really liked Lost Vikings. Speaking of remasters, have you played... Did you play Half-Life back in the day? Did you ever play Half-Life? I played some of it, yeah. But not... I never finished it. So, a... a, I guess it was a fandom organization came out with a... a, They imported Half-Life into Half-Life 2. I think Half Life. It's called Black Alex. Mesa. No, I have played Half Life Alex, the VR one. Alex. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I played that. I really like. I so, still. I have that on Steam just because I bought a VR. I love. Like I played Half Life and Half Life Two and the the episode one and two that came after. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a I'm a huge Half Life fan. Like I love. Half-Life. I love the VR one. I really got into VR with that and. Honestly, it threw me for a loop, the way you moved and the way you walked. So I recommend having a stool behind you so you could kind of like prop yourself up and get used to it. Because the way, the biggest thing I hated about that Half-Life game was the way you moved. Really? Because you could either have teleport, which would fast forward you to the spot, which would throw your vision off. Your spatial awareness off and everything. Or you could slowly walk and then you could slowly, like, smoothly scroll. And I was like, nope, give me the 90. I want to be able to turn fast and kill people. Love the game. Got to, like, chapter 4, chapter 5. Pretty fourth mission in. Really loved it. It's just, I didn't have time anymore. But going back to Black Mesa, which is the essential remaster into with this unknown company or the smaller uh, fan yeah, base company. yeah i think it was a fandom right it, but what's great about it is that you know steam you know the the organization valve. yeah valve they said we bless off on this yeah I know. they've done more and more of that recently and yeah. games have been coming out i was talking to baldur's gate 3 that's what it was and i do want to jump back to that game but baldur's gate 3 it's a two A company. It doesn't really? have three. It's a two A company. I didn't know that. I found that out at work last week, and I was like, "There's." So I look. It's a two A company. It doesn't have three A money, and the fact that they pushed out a game, as, as far as they did for as much as they had. Which, by the way, we need to play Baldur's Gate together. I'm game. I'm like fully... like I'm, I I know that you don't have it on. Steam. I have it on Steam. Do you have it on Steam? I have it on Steam and I have it on PlayStation. Okay. Uh, I really want to play it to you. I might even be down to like record it, but only if we could like record it and like record ourselves. So I have a camera that could video me. I've got a camera that could video me. I have a streaming camera. Yeah, I've got one. I actually Twitch streamed for a while. Did you really? Yep. Well, look at you. I did Sea of Thieves and I did Rainbow Six. I got up to. I don't know. They changed the ranks now, but it was. I was a plat two on Rainbow Six, and then they added all these new people, and it's so futuristic. I'm like, I'm out. I'm done. I can't. I can't. I can't do anything competitive anymore because I was super into Halo, like Halo Three, and uh, Halo, Halo Reach, Two, and Halo Three and Reach. And I was into Modern Warfare Two, and I was into. I almost joined a, a Northwest team. Did you really for Rainbow Six? Damn. I was on their. I was on their. Uh, I was on their roster. Did you hear that barking spider? I know they're all over there. I'm glad they're not over here. I'm yeah. afraid of spiders. They're fucking weird. Weird. But no, I was on their roster and I practiced with them every Tuesday and Thursday. We had practice and Saturday we had a six-hour session of playing a game. 
Okay. And it was, I enjoyed it, but then I just, I didn't have time anymore. I, 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 I just, especially now, I don't have, you know, as I've gotten older, I just don't have the time to dedicate the amount of time it would take to competitive play to get good enough to enjoy the game. No, and that's where, that's why I started getting more into the pretty much graphic design. I had yeah. a company that reached out to me. and was like, oh, we want you to do our Christmas shirt. I was like, okay, well, my mom works at this company. She brought it up and redid it. Done. Problem solved. But it was just like, I really enjoy that. I enjoy creating a piece that someone has a rough sketch, and I just I clean it up or make my own idea, and boom, there it is. <clears throat> it, but it was like, the three Jeez. hours that I spent on that, you're right, I could have been spending on a video game achieving what like what what am i really achieving is this making me money is this productive realistically yeah i mean that's that's where i'm at in my life is what i'm doing have any potential to make me money so i can do what i want to do and if it's what i want to do and it makes me money then why not and when i was streaming i was maybe making 20 30 bucks a month and it was it was fine. It was good, but it wasn't. I don't know. I was more dying to myself, forcing myself to stream. But I mean, I'd be game to stream us going through Baldur's Gate because I have two playthroughs now on it, and it's like it'd be really, really cool to have someone else who's played D and D because I played with people who haven't. And it was like, oh, this is a great fucking game. It's like, yes, but there's so much more. You have there, the, there's. There's so much. I mean, they did a very. Good I picked up this alcohol and I can throw it and use it as a weapon, and it can catch on fire. It can do this. It can do this. Other than, well, I have all these skills that I can do. I know. I I got only so far in the game because I spent so much time trying to figure out how to D and D like like try and D and D my way. Yep. Reload. Try and D and D my way. Like I spent so much time trying to D and D my way through various aspects of the game that it was fucking ridiculous. I I'd, I'd want to play with someone who's played D and D. So it'd be great. We could totally do a stream of that. Do a two hour stream on that. Definitely get far. I don't know, we could easily do that once a month. Once or twice down. a month. We yeah. could do something. I mean, we can do that at home, so that makes it even easier for you. Yep. But no, Baldur's Gate is its a 2A company. So, jump back to these, because we sidebarred a little bit. But, jump back. So what, they remastered, what, but didn't remaster. They re-released Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. So, they re-released Metal Gear Solid. With OG and they, graphics, which I give them props. Like, that's awesome. Like... And I, I literally, I, we came back from camping and then, well, we, I came back from camping. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Someone, someone said I didn't want to camp. No. I wanted to no, pretend verbatim, to camp. No verbatim. I said, fuck Mike. I'm only staying one night. We're going to shoot the podcast. I'm going to leave. So it makes it look like I'm camping on the podcast, but not actually camping. He's not actually camping. It's just like that old crew we used to roll with, right? Oh, I felt so bad leaving too. <laughs> I told I told Jess if this person cancels the house visit, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, I'm supposed to fucking camp. This was camping weekend. I was a I was, I was pretty upset. Oh, I was pissed. I was pretty upset. I get home and I just started cleaning. I'd even un- unpack the car. Nothing. Just started cleaning. My wife's like, "You good? Yep. Are you good? Yep. Can you can you change the baby? Yep." Change the baby, go back. Can you feed the baby? Yep. I, I was so fucking done. And then they came, they did it, they left. You totally sold the house off of that showing, too. Nope. <laughs> I could, my phone's still recording. See, I didn't even go up Thursday. I would have picked up the other GoPro. So that way we would have had. Yeah. But I was so pissed. And the only reason I didn't go up Thursday is because I had the commission from the other company to make digital artwork. But yeah. Oh, I was so pissed. I was like, we have all this meat. We have all this food. We don't have water. But we have all this meat. (laughs) We have all this food. It's like, I brought a smaller tent just for me. I brought all our other camping stuff. Let's go. And it was just, it was a bust. I really 
I wasn't too happy about that. Come here. Come here. Well, fine. Fuck you too, Cabo. I'll just sit on your feet. Um, I mean, it wouldn't have been so bad. It's just that I didn't pack for one. I didn't plan to do a one-man trip. Yeah. Because normally if I do a one-man trip, I'll, like, download music and Yeah, more, more stuff books that you can be and, off the and, grid. And, and, and just, you know. You probably would have brought your hammock. You probably would have. Yeah. I mean, just stuff I plan on doing, just hanging out by myself stuff, right? Um, and that just, you know, I learned that if I wanted to go hiking, I had to bring a bag to stuff Pearl into so I could carry her on my back. Which, you know what? I was actually looking for a... So I have a harness. I had a yeah. harness for Anakin because when I was in the military. I had a harness in case I had to carry a dog. I seriously have a dog harness at my house. Oh, that's funny. And it's pretty much it's a strap that comes down here, wraps around your waist, and you just use a, a normal rock climbing carabiner, and your dog's just, it's just hanging. <laughs> it's just hanging. <laughs> it was like, heck yeah, you know what? That'd be that'd be awesome for Mike because it was weighted for. Was it the Malamuse dogs? Mm -hmm. Is what it was weighted for, and it barely fit in those. It's like you got it really, really tight. Everything. It's like I have six inches at least on every single one of these straps that can just <laughs> extend. I was like, and Pearl's not a skinny dog by any means, but she's not fat. No, she ain't. Fat. Like she's a healthy dog that you can easily throw in this harness and just be like, she's she's my armpit dog. Yeah. And you're just walking around hiking. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll go for a hike now. <laughs> ah. She'll just sit there stiff-legged. I was looking for that when I was going through getting all the Christmas well, stuff. I, I know I've got a couple of, uh, I actually have a uh, an old army fucking rucksack. And I was like, that's big enough. I could stuff Pearl in that. And the only reason I went, I mean, stuffing would be an easy, simple solution. But the hanging doesn't really put too much weight on them. Mm -hmm. That they're kind of just free-floating. Like it, it worked for a, a short time, so a short hike would be fine. But yeah, if you're like, like a mile. if you're hiking, hiking, no, put her in a bag, call it good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like the dog harnesses. There was, there was a good point because I had Anakin trained as my service dog. Yeah, I remember I was, that. I was fully prepped for him to attack on command, do all this on command, and then Jaeger just fucked him up so bad. But he was, he was fully set up. I could throw him anywhere, and he'd just be like, "This is my life. I like this." Oh, you cut a light off. Bummer. Yeah, really. Yep. You stepped on it. There we go. I just need to warm up my hands. It's <laughs> cold. My hands are getting cold. I didn't think it was that cold yet. Yeah, well, I mean. You're you've you've also had more courage juice than me. You've uh, you've grown out in the mountains of Tennessee. No, ring, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm, I'm from this here state of Texas. We, we don't deal with the cold so well. <laughs> I honestly think we should totally do like some jingle like that when we're talking about me. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I actually had Bones reach out to me. We were talking about how I've always, I've always been the fucking Eskimo of the club. It's like... Every time I'd go over to your house, it was fucking freezing. It was like, it's the middle of winter. Why is your AC on? Because it's hot. <laughs> it's 43 degrees. It's hot. All your windows are open. What are you doing? It's like, bring a sweater. There's heated blankets. And it's just like, I'm not that cold. Like, I seriously showed up. The only heavyweight thing I'm wearing is, is our name pending. And then I'm wearing a t-shirt, and I'm wearing, like, the thinnest freaking... And you're wearing Crocs. I'm actually barefoot right now. You're barefoot. You're wearing Crocs. But I, I wore Crocs. I even stepped on fire earlier, and I was like, I should go to Walmart later. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm like, I got moccasins on, bro, okay? Yeah, you do. I do need... I do need another pair of moccasins. I love my I moccasins. love moccasins. I love it anytime it gets... Like, don't get me wrong. I love my flip-flops. They're great. But, like, when we get to moccasin season, I'm all about that life. My only issue with moccasins, because how hot I normally run, I just sweat through them. <laughs> like, I've seriously had the sides fall off. <laughs> because I just sweat so freaking much in my feet. But, no. I'm, I mean, 
You're wearing nice Carhartt overalls. Also not sponsored, but great fucking company. I love... I oh. love a good Carhartt. Oh, so I was going to tell you earlier, but I got interrupted. So I did... I got my uh, my my real estate dad, bald dad, uh, his first Carhartt. That's what it was. We were talking about Carhartt. Uh, time out. Uh, time out. The video stopped. <sighs> Man, you didn't toss a log on that fire. There's still wood in there. You didn't toss a log on that fire. I'm not cold. Are you cold? Yeah. All right, but as you were saying, let's go back to it. Real estate dad. So, yeah. Bald dad. There's a tree frog over here. (laughs) Real estate dad, let's go back to it. That scared me. <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, he, I, I got him. I had asked him if he had a car heart because he moved out to the country. You know, he's a city he's boy. He's been out moved. there for how long now, though? Yeah, for a couple of years now. This was last year, right? Okay. I think he's been out for there for three years. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I'm I guess so Cabo glad I brought stick. the wood out for Cabo. <laughs> Keep your dad warm and yeah. you fed. But uh, I can't even feel that fire from here. It's too far away. <sighs> well, we could reposition so you can move closer. Yeah, but then it would fuck up the optics. I'm just going to deal with being, being cold. Well, I'm not really that cold. Well, your probably hands are probably your only thing cold with all your Carhartt everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got everything else on. <laughs> so Carhartt, real so, estate dad. Yeah, no, uh, we're gonna keep doing this. <laughs> so, anyways, so I was like, oh man, do you do you have a Carhartt? Because you know he's a city boy, he'd never you know living in the yeah. in the country for the first time. Because my mom's a country girl who had moved to the city way back in the day, right? And. Uh, you know, so he he's out in the country, and I was like, oh, well, let me buy you a Carhartt. I get him a Carhartt, and he's like, it's the greatest thing ever. Because he's like, this is heaven. it's so warm, and he's like me. He doesn't deal with the cold well, right? See, I deal with the cold well, so when I bust out the Carhartt, everybody else is wearing, like, fucking parkas. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it, it it's the other side of it is like well you're you're in the country so if you're going outside you're doing like country things which yeah you're gonna tear up a normal jacket yep not a Carhartt though it's like oh fuck I'm going through the brush I'm swinging the axe ain't doing shit to this Carhartt yep fuck I mean, I've had I've had this one for over a decade I I think I've had it for like 15 years now the one I have is seven years old now the four I have back at home that have been reacquired by family members. I got when I was like 12, and they didn't fit me then because my dad was like, this will be the last Carhartt you ever need. And no joke, it fits all my family members, except for him because he's, he's a pretty husky gentleman now. He's not that bad. He's actually lost a lot of weight. He started eating healthier. He, he didn't look bad when I met him. No, he's probably like mid-200s, but he used to be 300. <sighs> You need some of this. I do need some of that. Maybe it'll warm you up. Don't drop that Tennessee moonshine. Ooh. Whoa. (laughs) I'm in danger. I'm going to do it again so you can cut this out for later. I'm in danger. (laughs) I mean... I don't know how many times we're going to do that. I, I still haven't, I don't think I've cycled back around to the last time we were supposed to do a cutout for it. <laughs> I'm like, honestly, I say like, it enough that right now we're just releasing episode six. And we're on what, nine? Nine. This is episode nine. I'm Which just is fine. Releasing episode I'm, six. I'm fully on board with that because it gives us breathe room in case we have technical issues, in case we have anything. And you know what? In case we lose an episode. And you know, when. When we get an editor, we'll just give him our lost files. <laughs> Make it work, bitch. <laughs> We're paying you. Make it happen. Cabo and
pearl. Hmm. But those pumpkins will be great for your deer. Definitely make uh, more so, of your deer come around. Speaking of pumpkins, y'all going to Ed's for Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're invited. But I know you'll be... I'm doing a Friendsgiving. Okay. That's why. I was going to invite y'all. No, we've been... We've been going up there consistently, and there's more stuff I'd talk about offline about that. But mm-hmm. no, we've we've definitely gone up there a lot more, and maybe it'll be different when my family comes down. But it, realistically, it probably won't be. My parents will probably just come along with us and go there. So friendsgiving, I keep hearing more and more about friendsgiving. I know so, I know the point so, of it, but explain it to me like I'm five. So last year, for me. Right. Last year, I... Oh, you got done dirty during COVID. I remember that Thanksgiving. Was that oh, last year? Oh, man. Because I was, know you went up with us. That was rough. So, during... Was that two years ago? That was two years ago. Yeah. So, during COVID, I was I was slated to go... It, me and Steven were both going to go up to do Thanksgiving with my parents. Mm-hmm. And both my parents at the same time came down with COVID. And when I say they came down with COVID... They were down I mean, and dirty. And I mean, my sucked. mom thought my dad was going to fucking die. Real estate dad. Like, like straight up and down, thought he was going to fucking eat it. I do remember you talking about that. It was like, he he has it bad. Yeah. Which normally, I mean, he get, he's one of those people who they get sick, and he gets sick. Right? Like, I get really sick once fucking a year. Sick. Normally, it's when the cold comes, and I'm out for like a couple days. I normally get, like, proper sick once every four years. And then I'll get proper sick, and I'm just down for the count. Mine's, like, a couple days every year. But but a couple years ago, COVID. So they, they get sick, and I was really looking forward to this, right? Like, super looking at me and Steven. Yeah, because I there. know you had food prepped. You you had stuff slotted. It wasn't like, cooked I was, yet. I was but. making stuff. I, I had Did, the was ingredients to make stuff. That's what I knew. You had the stuff bought, and I was, and it going, was to, prepared. I was going to make some stuff. To, I forget what I was going to make, but I was going to make stuff to take up with me. And like I had all this stuff going on, and then they were they came down with COVID, and obviously you're not going to go up yeah. there. And so I'm just down in the dumps, like just down. And you hit me up, and you're like, "Hey, you want to come out to Ed's? We'll go do some shooting," and fucking have dinner two cars ago and uh (laughs) yeah well i mean yeah and i mean i said it then and i don't i don't know if ed really realized it but like that was a huge fucking deal for me and that's why every time you come over he's seriously like dude just hit me up and it's open but you know i mean it was because, like, I was depressed. But this goes back to what you are saying. Friends. Rob. Yeah. Like, friends are friends. I don't... You're in a slump? Hit me up. Yeah. Like... But you are depressed. Thanksgiving came around. It was canceled because of COVID. And, and I mean, we, we get up there. We do some <clears throat> shooting. We, we had a good time shooting. And then we sit down and we're having dinner. We're having dinner with folks I don't really know. But they're including me. Like, I'm part of the family. And that was a big fucking deal. Yeah, right? it's Thanksgiving. Nobody should be alone. Right. And so, you know, that was that was a hard time period. But then the next year came along and it was, you know, for so many, for so many years while I lived in Texas, and if I could do it, if I wasn't deployed and whatnot, mm-hmm. right, um, if I could do Thanksgiving... And Christmas, I would do Thanksgiving and Christmas. The thing is, is that Thanksgiving and Christmas are not that far apart. Correct. So when you're military, it's hard to do both. You do one or the other. And when you have two different families, it gets harder. I, I, did, I did both for so long, right? And normally what I would, I would say is I would say, you know, what would end up happening is I would spend some time on Thanksgiving with my mom and sometimes on Thanksgiving with my dad and then some time on Christmas with my mom and sometimes on Christmas with my dad. Yeah. And it got to be too much. Really, it just got to be too much. So I called up my mom last year and I said, hey, like early in the year, and I said, hey, pick a holiday. 
You can get Thanksgiving or you can get Christmas. But tell me which one you you want. Yep. And she said she wanted Christmas. And I was like, cool. I'm doing Friendsgiving. And so last year, we did Friendsgiving up there near Canyon Lake in Spring Branch. Yeah, I remember. You invited me. I was like, I had, I had plans. Yeah. And so me and Steven went up there, and we went up to my buddy Hank's house, and him and his sister cooked this awesome meal, and it was him and his sister and his dad and, you know, his wife, and we all, we had, we had a great time. Mm -hmm. We ate a bunch of food, we drank way too much, because I think we brought, like, two cases of beer and a bottle up there, and he already had alcohol, and we, like, boozed it up for Thanksgiving. We're not going nowhere. Oh, we didn't go fucking... I, we brought... Me... I brought both my dogs. Steven brought both his dogs. Hank's got a dog. All the dogs were going crazy. I was so drunk. At one point, Cabo, like, wandered off of the property. Like, disappeared <laughs> for a while. Where's Cabo? He probably stole meat. And then, like, we're outside yelling for Cabo, and then he just, like, wanders out of the darkness... Like, no idea where he's been. He's just gone <laughs> for fucking however long he was gone. I've come back after impregnating many Canyon Lake dogs. <laughs> I'm just like... Stealing everybody's meat off the what, grill. What the fuck are you doing? But, yeah, no. It had a, honestly, had a had a fantastic time. So, but, Friendsgiving. Explain that to me. I understand the premise, but... So, normally, normally you do Thanksgiving with family, right? Normally, Thanksgiving is a family event well i mean if you're not going to do it with family you need to do it with something not just not doing thanksgiving is a sad state of affairs right because this is a holiday event so instead you you call all of your friends and you bring all of them in because we all have friends who don't have anyone any family in the area that's more common in today's state of affairs than at any other time like in today's day and age more than at any other time, we have more people living in cities without having any family in them, right? And so all you have to lean on is your friends. And so that's where friends giving becomes so important is because now at this point in time, we have the ability to, like, you're bringing everyone together. Are you with me back there, over there peeing? But no, Friendsgiving is that. And that, that makes more sense. I mean, because a lot of people are separate from their family. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that's the day we, in I think age it was we live in. 2016, 2017, still military at the time. And I told my mom, it was like, look, I'm married. I have my own life. I have my own things I'm doing. I might not make it up for all these holidays because either I don't have leave time, don't have money, don't have. It's like, look, choose a holiday. Choose one. And 4th of July is big with my family. Thanksgiving is big with my family. And so is Christmas. Two of those are close together. So we can either have Christmas in July. We can have Christmas during Thanksgiving. And we can lump two together. And a couple years, it was we are having July 4th. We'd go up there. The club came up there a couple times. I think it was twice. And we did river runs. We did. We went fucking wild on 4th of July. <laughs> one time a firework went one of the tubes, the giant tubes and Texas fireworks are big Tennessee is unregulated so we have the giant fucking mortars we have down here for like 20 bucks up there so it'll, it'll knock down one knocked down and it blew up under someone's truck it was wild all you hear is Dink! it was like oh um that's probably not good. <laughs> so we go over and talk to him. He's like, nah, this is the farm truck. We only come down here with the farm trucks. We we live about two hours up the road, but 
we know it's country as hell out here, so we don't want to bring our nice cars. Good man. And we talk to them. They bring their their farm truck. Chevy 2500 HD. What year? I think it was a 20... It was the same year. I think it was 2016, 2017. Fucking seriously? That's the farm truck? So I asked what this guy did after... But he had a fifth wheel. They had their... They had pretty much what you see here in Bandera area, where people have their getaway with a giant carport and small house attached. They had the same thing, and it was 2,500 square foot attached to this carport that's a permanent structure. What the fuck, man? Pretty much he works investments. I guess the year before he made $2 million just off... um, like, not even his salary. That was just off commission. It's like, bro, I'm in the wrong business. He's like, well, a lot of them are realistically trust fund babies, Nashville area. A bunch of them are singers. A bunch of them are songwriters. A bunch of it is like, okay, that makes more sense. You just had the, you were there at the right time. He's like, yeah, a lot of, a lot of them has, was the right time. But his family's coming in and they're, Farm vehicles, their vacation vehicles, Mercedes, BMW. What the fuck, man? It's like, and you come down to a place where the average income is forty thousand dollars, and this is your, this is your. He's like, yeah, that that dent's not gonna be made. There wasn't a dent. The paint was missing. There was chipping on the paint. There was ash spray, like the side and under his truck were black. Like, you could see it. He was like, that's okay, nothing. I wish I had that kind of fucking it's throwaway like, shit. I don't know. If someone throws a firework and it goes under my my vehicle, I'm not going to be too happy about it. All right. <clears throat> I think this is it, man. That's all she wrote then. All right. This has been Name Pending. This is Name Pending. I'm Mike Culberson. And I'm Keeper. It's been fun hanging with you guys. Be sure to fuck that like button. And throw a comment below. I'll respond. Maybe. No, you Someday. Won't. You're gonna forget. I'll respond. I look at it every once in a blue moon. All right. Have a good night. <laughs>